Okay, in this problem, I have L1 is defined by this and L2, and I have to show that they're parallel. Well, I'm going to, what I need to find is the direction vector. And so this line one is defined in terms of x. So I'm going to introduce a parameter. I'm going to say, let x equal t. And so when I do that, I know that y is going to equal to 2t plus 2, and z is equal to 3 minus t. And if I then write it in uh, this particular form, I know that x is 0, 2, 3, plus t, I get 1, 2, and negative 1. Here's my direction vector. If I look at line 2, my direction vector has to be a scalar multiple. So in line 2, my direction vector is 3, 6, and careful the signs here, negative 3, which is equal to 3 times 1, 2, minus 1. Therefore, they are parallel. Okay, and now in B part, it says find the Cartesian equation of the plane for these two lines are parallel. Well, if I have a line here, L1, and a line here, which is L2, I need to find the normal vector. But I can't just cross product these because they're the same. So I need to find another vector. And what I can do is I can take a point on this line and a point on this line and make a new vector here. I know this vector will be on the plane that contains L1 and L2. So if I call this point A and this point B, A I know, point A is 0, 2, 3. B I know is 1, 1, negative 1. From here, 1, 1, and then switch it around, negative 1. Oh, hold on a second. I may have done that, did that too fast. Z minus 1 over minus 3. So it's still positive 1, my, my mistake there. 1. OK, and so this is B. If I find A, B, and then I can find, I can work and find the normal vector then. So if I'm going to go A, B vector is simple 1. 1 minus 2 is a negative 1. 1 minus 3 is a negative 2. There's this vector AB, and I'm going to cross product it with 1, 2, minus 1. And that will obtain for me a normal vector which is perpendicular to uh, the both parallel lines. So if I'm going to do the, the cross product, I'm going to go 1, negative 1, negative 2. I'm going to cross it with 1, 2, negative 1. 1, 2, negative 1. This is what I'm going to try and do. Now, there's lots of different algorithms on how to do it, but you just have to make sure you get the right answer. The one that I'm most comfortable with is writing it out as such. So I get 1, negative 1, negative 2, 1, 2, minus 1. And I get, I'm going to hide these, and I get 1 plus 4 is 5. And then I go negative 2 plus negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. And then finally 1, or sorry, 2 plus 1 is 3. Here is my normal vector. And so I can say that 5x minus y plus 3z is equal to, let's say, d. Plug in any point. I can use this point here, 0, 2, 3. I'm going to plug in 0, 2, 3, 0, 2, 3. And so I get negative 2 plus 9 equals d. And so d is equal to 7. And so the Cartesian equation, 5x minus y plus 3z equal to 7. So to summarize, when I have two parallel lines, I need to create a third vector that connects these two lines together, a point from each line. So then I can cross product the direction vector of the line with this new vector to get the normal.